One, two, three, go for it. Come on, Bert. Just like anywhere else, you want to get to the park super early. Most animals are super active in the daytime. One of the things that you'll want to keep in mind when you come to visit the San Diego Zoo is to allot a whole day. There's a lot of hills and a lot of walking, as well as a lot of cool different places to seek and explore and all that different stuff. You're gonna use a lot of energy walking around the hills and all the different parts of the park exploring. So make sure you bring some snacks, your sunscreen, and also wear comfortable shoes. One of the main things to keep in mind is if an animal is not out on exhibit, don't feel bad, don't get mad. The thing is this animal might be off display just because of the fact he might be doing some veterinary care. Animals are just like us. They need to go to see the doctor every once in a while. One of the things here too is to really not feel sad for the different animals that are here inside the San Diego Zoo. San Diego Zoo's main mission is to end ex extinction all around the world, so they are actually doing a great job. Um, by doing that, they have great veterinary care as well as you know, being out of sight of predators. Uh, you don't know how they're feeling. You aren't not the animal, so don't feel bad for them. So let's say you're not an avid walker and you get tired pretty easily or walking around the park. Well, make sure you check out the different uh, buses that they have here at the park. This one right here behind me is the Kangaroo Express Bus. Um, it stops at different points along the park, which is really cool. This behind me is the loading zone for the guided bus tour. It's about a 35, 40 minute little guided tour around the bus, but this is not the one that stops at the different locations. So another pro tip for you, if you're getting on the buses, make sure you get on the right one. One of the great ways to get from one side of the park to the other side of the park is to take the Sky Fari. This is an overhead uh, tram kind of uh, people mover. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Um, but you get to go from one side of the park to the other, from Polar Bear Plunge over to the kids' petting zoo. Sometimes the animals might not be where they are, but there's different sides to different enclosures. So make sure you walk around Take advantage of all the different enclosures these animals' habitat might inhibit. While you're at the park, sometimes it's just great to ditch the map and explore. I didn't grab a map today, so I'm just kind of actually exploring all the different paths. So let's say you might have a question about some of the things that you're seeing here inside the park and you don't know the answers. Make sure you ask a volunteer. And they're usually wearing a red shirt. They have the most information as far as the different animals. So make sure you ask a volunteer if you have questions. One of the tips that I have is be patient. Make sure you just kind of wait and relax Sometimes animals aren't always where they're supposed to be and they're hiding in a den or hiding in a different little area. So make sure when you're taking a look at the animals, you be patient. There's always little kids too. So they're gonna wanna make sure to push their way up to the front. One of the nicer restaurants to eat at is Albert's Restaurant. There's a cool little outdoor patio seating area which is super nice and it's a nice fine dining experience rather than the other restaurants that are here in the park. So if you're ever dining and you need a nice sit down place, consider Albert's Restaurant. So if you're ever looking for a cool, cheap gift idea, make sure you take a look at the different stores. Right now, there's a 50% off white elephant kind of uh, jewelry, crafts, and home decor stuff. Also, if you're a member, you get to save 10 or 20% off different items they usually have during the month. So make sure you take a look and make sure you see what you can find. If you have little ones, consider visiting the children's zoo area. There's a petting zoo as well as cool different little animal uh, encounters and things as well as talks to take a look at. So make sure you visit the little uh, children's zoo area here if you have little ones. One of the cooler experiences that you could have here at the park is a giraffe feeding. Located at this booth here right behind me in the Australian Outback area. One of the things to keep in mind with this experience is that the line does get really long. So make sure you, when you line up, you get here about 45 minutes to an hour early. So you make sure you get your spot.
A pro tip for you if you enter the Africa Rocks area, there's a bathroom at the start and at the end of it, but not in the very middle. So if you need to go to the restroom, this is a long exhibit, so make sure you uh, go out at the start. Let's say you don't need a whole day here at the San Diego Zoo and now you need something to do. Do you hear those bells? Well, that's Balboa Park. Make sure you check out Balboa Park if you're done at the zoo early. Are you a local here in San Diego and came to visit the zoo? Well, consider upgrading your ticket up to a year pass. With my year pass, I get to bring someone in for free and I get to save 10% off. Uh, whether I buy or dine at any of the restaurants here or buy any souvenirs. So that's really cool. Make sure you consider upgrading your pass to a uh, year pass. Some things to keep in mind when you come to visit are some of the seasonal events that happen. During spring break, they do a thing called yaycations. During the winter time, they do a thing called jungle bells too. So the park is open a little bit later as well as cool animal encounters all around the park. So make sure you check that out. A great money saving tip for you is if you come in October, children under the age of 12 are free with a paid adult. So make sure if you wanna come and save some money, come in October.